Hey everyone, continuing with the Welcome to Apocalypseburg set. Today I'm going to be building parts bags number 12, 13, and 14. This is going to be a play area, actually two play areas, one stacked on top of the other, which goes into the main set. Not much else to say for these ones. Let's just get right into building. That's our footprint. So two columns. This one's got a cleaver on it and this one has a saw on it. So this is a little disturbing. It's a little armchair. I think that's supposed to be a chair. It goes right there. Well, I'm not entirely sure what this is. We've got a couple heads here, look like robots. This kind of looks like a torch. So I don't know. The robot assembly area. Hair salon? I have no idea. Well, whatever he's doing, he's sitting on top of there. There are two helmets. There was one minifigure that was in this bag of parts. This one's named Mohawk. Well, that's the end of parts bag number 12. Small play area. There's our one minifigure, Mohawk. Inside. We have a collection of hats here. It looks like a mannequin that's showing the assembly of some armor. And then over here, a little hard to see because I got the roof on. There's a chair in there with some spare heads on the side. We have this door, at least I think it's a door, which has like a swinging hook on it. Main door right here, no actual door on the door. And then one really nice sticker just on the front here. Well, there's no such thing as a nice sticker, but I guess it looks okay. Although I put it on crooked, not sure if you can tell. Okay, we're going to continue on with parts bag number 13, putting more detail on here and building a roof. Now two stickers go on this. So two separate stickers, but spells out a couple words going across both bricks. Now I've got very, very old Lego sets where a sticker would go across 
like one continuous sticker would go across two bricks. Not great. So at least they broke it into two here, which is good. Now this says, of course, coffee unchained, which means the coffee shop must be below this assembly. I think that looks really great. Those pipe looking bricks. Well, with the addition of this sign, little pair of scissors, I do think this now is supposed to be a barber shop. So these are doors. That's really cool. Okay, time for the roof. Get that out of the way for now. There's our roof panel. And because of these quick release studs here, this should just sit down Clip into those. Uh, everything's squared up. There we go. And because of those quick release studs, you should just be able to peel this up very easily to play inside. I think this looks really good. So that was the end of parts bag number 13. We've completed our lower play assembly, barbershop, and what looks like an armory. Now we're going to do part spec number 14, which is another play area on the top of this. In this bag of parts, we have a character pretty much anybody who watches the Lego movie should know. This is Lucy in her full outdoor gear and a couple weapons. I don't know what this play area is. We'll find out once we get building, although this might be a restaurant. We'll see if I'm right. This big wall panel. Looks like an envelope. So maybe this is just Lucy's apartment. Uh, more stickers. So this sticker looks like it's Emmett. This one is Unikitty. Emmett and Unikitty. Don't mind the noise, it's just my refrigerator going through defrost. Now, this is a piece of fabric, which happens in time to time in Lego sets. So I think this is definitely her apartment. Boy, I'm, that, this column shouldn't be here. It should be over here.
sticker. So this says keep out. I can make sure I get this on the right way. Goes on the side here. Well, that's the main building. Definitely think it's just Lucy's quarters. I don't know why I thought it was a restaurant. Now we'll build the roof. Oops, whoops, I can't even hold on to it. All right, there's the roof. Decent amount of detail on just the roof part. And that sits on top. Like that. So the ladder going up to the roof. So that's the end of parts bag number 14. This appears to be Lucy's personal apartment. So on the roof, we've got a recliner, looks like a smokestack. Some nice detail on the outside. Like a robot head here. And then, of course, the roof can come off. And then here's Lucy's apartment. Nice outside detail. Good keep out sign, her fabric door covering. Couple, looks like mailboxes there. And I think this is a bed. Bed slash storage cabinet, because there's, there's stuff underneath here. Sure, how well that shows up. That put back on. Now, this goes on top of the assembly we did from parts bag numbers uh, 12 and 13. Here's just a close up of Lucy. I'm going to put Lucy on the top here. I'm sure she'll be out of the way if she's up there. All right, I'm going to put them both together. Here's our original assembly. This sits on top of here. There it is all together. That actually should be fairly solid. I can tip this. Nothing's falling off. That's good. I think overall, this looks really good. All of this goes into our main assembly. Look at this thing. <laughs> Try to get lined up properly. And it should. Just press down. There we go. That clicked. That clicked. Here's everything installed into the main assembly. There are two new play areas stacked on top of each other and put onto the area below. So now all the signage makes sense. The coffee is coffee unchained is over the actual coffee shop. Doesn't this look great? If you haven't seen the other videos I've done, parts one, two, and three, please go check that out. You'll see how we got to this point. I think everything's looking great so far. So next week, we'll finish off the Statue of Liberty, which is kind of off camera. There's the Statue of Liberty head, which goes here, and then the torch, which goes way above my camera here. And then there's a few other details that go around the set, and then we'll be done. But that's it for this week. I hope you're enjoying the build so far. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll finish this build next week.